What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to be sure I'm going to make a quote-unquote chicken zoo enclosure. Um, it, zoo enclosures aren't enclosed, technically. Um, most of them aren't, at least, like, bats and stuff obviously are, and chickens wouldn't be. Chickens can't fly. Um, but yeah, here it is, I decided to just make an enclosure. I'm going to do a setup with every single mob. I'll talk about stuff with that later, and you'll see why I said quotations, with zoo and quotations also later, because I'm going to actually make this into a zoo. But yeah, that, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're gonna be going to be needing for this is an 18 by 16, and the materials we're needing to start this off are white concrete powder, black stained glass panes, dark oak door, just a single one, black stained glass blocks, red concrete, I guess while we're here, black concrete. Yellow terracotta, and we will go with snow. Uh, we have a ninth material. Should we do anything with that? Hmm, nothing. No. So I do just want to talk about if you're not. It doesn't particularly pertain to this. Just uh, skip like thirty seconds. But um. Of the zoo stuff, that's what it's gonna be about. If you're gonna make this into a zoo, like I'm going to show you what I'm how to do, um, you're gonna need 15 block gaps in between each one, is what I'm doing, and then they're gonna be in maybe either two or four lines, I'm not quite sure yet, or like I mean, like two path one or two pathways basically. Uh, just, it'll we'll see how many mobs we have and how the numbers will work out. I'll just go basically for like seven or eight in a line and see if that's too long, and then we'll figure it out from there. So I don't have an exact space. Um, once everything is finished, I will probably put a dis put in the comments as a pinned comment the exact space of everything, and I probably will do a final video showing it and all that stuff, with maybe adding fences and stuff. So, starting from the front left hand corner of your 18 by 16 grid golf course, if you made it, you want to count back by one and going right, you want to place two white concrete powder, 14 black stained glass panes. Two white concrete powder. Back with the dark oak door. Then back with 13 white concrete powder. I'm trying to count and I just forgot the second part of that. Left with 17. And then connect back forward. Now, something worth mentioning, this one and probably some of the other animals will be, some of them will be smaller. They're all going to be this size box, however, you'll notice I have the two blocks either side because I might double layer the walls. You'll see what my plan is with that on certain ones and why I'm going to do it. But another thing with that is, um, frick, what was it? I have the door on the right side here. I'm probably going to leave like two blocks gap between each one. Just so I can have doors and stuff, or maybe even one, we'll see. I'm not quite sure yet, I'll figure that out later. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling about that though, because this is a single tutorial and I'm not showing you the entire thing. So, uh, you wanna bring that entire thing up with six additional rows, or copy that row six more times. Except, bring the door up with, or the dark oak door up with white concrete powder. I don't know why I had to specify the dark oak thing, that was not a thing that needed to be specified. There's going to be a total of like two panes that we have to destroy, just for your information. They're in the center along the top row of panes, just because I don't feel like being like, ah, oh, you'll never know, you'll see, I'll just tell you. But I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, I'll go into more detail when I actually do it. Question is, do I want to start the window or not? That's what I'm wondering. Or, I mean, the chicken head, because the chicken head, um, I don't know if I want to add the window first and then put the chicken head on, or if I want to put the chicken head on and then add the window. And it is a chicken, it's not a duck. The spawn egg clearly says spawn chicken, so it's not a discussion. If it was a duck, it'd say spawn duck. Or, is that what the whole thing was? Was It was, yeah, that was what it was, right? Is it a chicken or is it a duck? It's one of the, uh, little texts in the loading screen. Or it was at least on 360 edition, I don't know if it is on Bedrock. 
I don't know how bedrock works. Not like I've played it or anything. So, yeah, I think we'll start with the chicken head. That seems like a pretty easy step. You want to, now you want to come to the center two black stained glass panes along the top row and you want to break them. I think it's those two? Yeah, so there's six on either side and that'll be the seventh one. Yeah, I'm going to actually make sure that that is correct. Hold on. Yeah. Place red concrete in there. I almost said white for some reason. Even though we don't have white concrete. Then place yellow terracotta on top of that. Bring it left and right by one and also forward and backward a row. So it'll kind of give you this effect. I know that's weird. Uh, and then you want to bring it up with an additional row. And then bring the center row going left to right or right to left on top of it. it does not matter. Place black concrete. Two snow. Black concrete. And then place a row of four snow on top. There's your little chicken head. Um, the red concrete, like thing underneath I don't even know what that is it's more of a turkey thing I think well I guess no I think chickens have it um it's actually two blocks on the chicken model but I didn't think that looked very good so I decided to shorten it to one block um just some decisions you'll see me make like that now what you can do is on the next row up along the front you want to bring you basically want to place three white concrete pattern moving in on the left and right, and then place, I think it's four black stained glass panes. Yeah. That's, okay. That's cool. Then you want to, moving in on either side, now you want to leave a one block gap, and then place your three white concrete pattern, and then three black stained glass panes. You then want to again leave a one block out moving in from either side and place just a row of, I think it's five white concrete powder. Yeah. And then again, one block out on either side and then it's four white concrete powder. So it'll give you this effect. And I actually think this turned out better than I expected it to turn out. Um, I think it looks good. I don't know. That might just be me though. So... I don't want to do this. Okay. You want to at the left and the right. You want to just bring the white concrete powder. Actually, you just want to bring the white concrete powder around the left, right, and back by an additional, or up with an additional row, or something like that. I don't know. We'll give you this, basically. And then every other white concrete powder that is along the outside here, or the snow, you want to bring back with, what's the number again? I think it's 13 black stained glass blocks. Yeah. So it'll be one away from the back, basically. And then we'll pop off, cap off the back. Um, all the hostile, or not hostile, sorry. All the overworld peaceful mobs will have this. Probably the nether ones won't. Probably only the overworld peaceful ones. Maybe like Iron Golem might. Well, I'll see what I'll do. I don't know. I'm doing every single mob except for probably Ender Dragon. I'm doing Wither because there are ways to make the Wither not go boom in it with everything. And then the back here, you just want to basically follow the pattern of the black stained glass blocks and fill this in with white concrete powder. White concrete powder is a pain to use. There's also something else I want to point out that I forgot about. Um... Well, I guess just come inside and, and then I'll talk about it. So come inside your thing. At the back left, though, we're going to have to go back outside and replace some of those because we're going to have to place a slight row because you can see some pixels. Just a white concrete powder down there. Um, I'll give the exact number in about, like, now. I guess so we can just get it out of the way. Um, hold on. It is seven along the back, so you can just break actually the grass. Actually, um, yeah, I'll break the grass. And a total of six along the left. So it'll be five more, like that. You can see that L shape? Yeah, all these red concrete want, concretes wants to, want to be white concrete powder. That corner doesn't actually matter. And some of them will turn to concrete, but we're gonna have to do this in a certain order so that doesn't happen. Also, I don't know why it does that. I break one and it gives me like, I got 11 from that. 
I don't know what it's doing and why the game does that, but it's really stupid. It's like it's glitching out and the entity isn't like some I think are falling quicker than others and it's making it spaz out and break. I think it's something along the lines of that. I actually don't know. That's just my guess. But whatever it is, it's stupid and they should fix it. There you go. Quite simple. I'll actually just repair this even though it's not going to matter. Uh, now let's do the chicken head inside because that's something we have to do. Find the uh, two block center again and place the red concrete along the second row up on the white concrete powder. I think it's seven off either side now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's seven block half on either side. I'm pretty good at gauging centers without counting, but I always like to count just to make sure I'm not stupid. Bring each one up with a yellow terracotta. Bring the yellow terracotta out on either side by one. So left, I guess left, right, and forward by one. So I guess yes, out on either side, on each side. And also up of the row, so that technically completes the puzzle. Then going left to right or right to left on top of the back row, it doesn't matter. Place black concrete, two snow, black concrete, place the row of snow on top. Snow is just a little bit of a color contrast in the concrete powder. That was the only reason I used it instead of white concrete. Just so it looks a little bit better with against the background, I should say. Um, but yeah. This is where fun things happen. Clear your inventory and we'll start off by getting out stone. Stone slabs. If you so choose, seagrass. Uh, it literally doesn't matter, you can't even see it from the outside, but it's just a thing I did. Um, water buckets. Oopsies. Either a hoe or a uh, farmland block. I'll just get out a hoe because it's easier, it's less steps. Uh, wheat seeds. They're actually just called seeds, but you get the point. Um, bone meal. We'll stop there for now, because that'll just give us, give us this back left corner finish, and technically we'll just polish up the ground as well. Uh, so... What you want to do is you want to come to the back left hand corner and you want to break, hold on, I should check before I'm like, yes, you should do this. You want to break four blocks along the back wall and then break three at the row in front of it, uh, more so skewed to the left. Replace the uh, dirt along the floor there with stone. And then what I did was I placed, uh, what did I place? I placed two stone slabs along kind of the front right, and I believe I placed one in the back right as well, so it's like that, that you can't see that. It's like that. Um, fill this with water. Now, one very, very minor thing. If you're gonna make these, if you're gonna actually break and replace these... What? That's a... Th I'm sorry, but I didn't. Okay, you know what? I I'm done. That's I think that's enough Minecraft for today, guys. Um, what I was trying to say is, if you're gonna break these and make them farmland instead, I wouldn't waterlog this block yet, uh, or this one. I'd place normal blocks there just so you block that from turning into concrete as well. Though it doesn't actually matter. It might actually better as concrete. I placed seagrass in this, although I left out this corner because it did that for some reason. Um, another thing that Mojang really needs to fix, or Microsoft, or whoever, that is screwed over my Little Nightmares 2 as well. But it's generally just like, that's such an easy thing to fix. It's just, there you go. And it's only that block, I don't know why. The other three are fine. Um, and what you can do now is you can... Going forward from this, at the, along the left wall, you can, um, till four dirt, then right with two, back diagonally to the right by four, and then back one, and then you can just till the rest of this in the middle here. I don't think I have to tell you what the next step is, but, uh, wheat seed all of it. And I'm actually going to show you how to make the custom tree block for block. I know that's unrelated, but I didn't make that custom tree, and I'm going to try to make it block for block. And then I would just bone meal all this. You don't actually have to. If you want to let it uh, grow on its own, just to kind of give it more of a natural look, you can. And if you even wanted to, you could come in here every once in a while and replant some of them so you don't have a full wheat farm. 
Also, I know chickens don't eat wheat, but they eat the seeds, so, like, whatever. They get the they get the whole wheat plant, um, and I think it does look kind of nice. It adds a little bit of color in there. Uh, and if you want, you can just bone meal the rest of the ground just to do it. Because, I mean, I'm going to tell you to do it later anyway, so I might as well just do it while you have the bone meal so we don't have to use it again. Um, there are going to be a couple spots where we're going to clear, um... I'd also check around the thing after you do that, because I had to go through the wall in a couple spots. Although I actually don't think I'll have that problem with the grid there. Well, I might on the back. I, yeah, I probably will on the back. Left and right, but not the front. Um, but... Yeah, that back right corner we are going to clear a little bit later, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So, clear inventory and get out. Oak logs. Spruce slab. Spruce fence. Flowering azalea and azalea leaves. Uh, we'll go... Stone brick walls. Any of the dead coral fans. I went with the horn coral. Uh, I actually think... I'll just go with it again. I don't know. I don't know what they look like without actually checking. And I'm not checking because that's too much work. And that might actually be all that we need. To finish. Yeah, I think so. Because I got food and water already. Um, so, what I did is you want to come to the front left-hand corner of your inside thing here. And you want to count. Hold on, I can't count actually. Back by four. And right by two. And you want to place an oak log. And you want to bring it up by three. Place a spruce fence off the back, and that'll just kind of help us gauge stuff here. So, off every other side of that log, you want to place a, a leaf block. Doesn't matter which leaf you use. What I do is I just start with flowering azalea, and I go back and change some of them to normal azalea, just so we can get that feel a little bit nicer. What side is that? Okay. At the right side, you want to bring this block here. Up by one. Right one. Bring the block you just brought right one. Forward two up one, bring that block you just went up one from left one, then go, I guess, back one, up one, bring the block you went up one from left one, back two, you can bring the middle block up, then rotate back to the back, bring this far back block left two, and then just kind of place a leaf on top of the block, or on top of the uh, log. And then you can actually place another diagonal there. If that's undescriptive, it's basically just like and kind of it's diagonally to the backward, diagonally to the right from the middle of the three diagonals that are in a line. That'll give you kind of this tree. Uh, we'll add the base part in a sec. I know it doesn't look like amazing, but uh, you know, if you want to make your own custom tree, feel free. If you don't even want to add a tree, also feel free. Um, I just wanted to show you how to make the tree that I made because, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna go back and change a bunch to a normal azalea just to kind of make it less pink. There you go, it looks pretty nice. And then what I did for the root part, I guess, if you will, at the left, or the, yeah, at the front and the left, I placed a log with a slab on top, and then at the right, I placed a slab along the floor, and I didn't do anything at the back. Nice. Just a little tree. Now for the last part, which is the little chicken coop. Um, so, uh, what you want to do is you want to come to the back left corner, and you want to count left by, I think, two. Is that correct? Yeah, two. And you want to go forward with four stone brick walls and an oak log. Then also go right with a stone brick wall, and then copy that entire row two more times. Using walls for walls is actually a really nice thing, though, because it kind of adds a depth. Although, placing, like, torches and stuff on that's a different story. Or anything against it, because then it screws up the entire log. If I placed an oak log there... Actually, it doesn't do it there. That's interesting. There. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, apparently. Unless it's that. Okay, that's what it is. One of the blocks are just, like, weird like that. Okay. Um, at the front here, you want to bring the top stone brick wall right by one at the front 
And then also you need spruce and planks. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Because um, you want to... You're going to need them for a sec. You don't need them right now. Place a row of up snow and spruce with slabs to the left of this whole thing. And you want to extend it off the front by one. Why am I not thinking today? Bring that front run right with an upside down slab. Up with the slab. Bring that spruce slab all the way back and connect to the back of the build. Then bring it right with a row of planks. Then before you do anything on the next part, um, you want to bring this stone brick wall here. The one that has nothing above it, you want to bring it up with an oak log facing left to right. Bring that log forward with one upside down spruce slab and back to the wall with upside down spruce slabs and then place the row of normal spruce slabs on top of that. That'll give you this. It's a nice little thing. I don't know. I didn't add much detail, but it's just, it's there. And then inside, I would clear out all of the tall grass or whatever. And I did back right corner and I think second block back or third block forward on the left. Placed, broke the floor and placed an oak log and then placed just dead coral, dead horn coral fans on top to be more specific. I'm actually going to check all the fans and see if any of them look nicer. Um... Dead 2 actually is pretty nice. That one looks more like it has more to it. Bubble also feels like that. D Bubble feels double layered, I don't know. Dead brain? That's bad. Dead fire? Fire might actually be nice. I'm gonna go with fire. Horn was just the first one I saw. But I think fire looks better. Only thing is the chickens do have an absolute seizure and just spin in circles. I saw one earlier just jumping in circles like this on that corner. So I don't know what that was about. If you also wanted to change the floor in here so it wasn't just oat or uh, grass, that's another thing. But uh, yeah, is that everything? I think that's everything. Let me check my thingy. We got the tree, we got the face, we got everything. Oh yeah, we kind of forgot the most important thing though. Uh, spawn some chickens. Uh, I had spawned one on the roof. I was crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Uh, put as many as you'd like. I wouldn't put more than five. I put five originally. I'll put five here. You'll see that they, for some reason, go straight. I want to go straight to the water. That happened before too. Two of them went to the water. Um, and I'm gonna go in there. He's thinking about it. Well, uh, yeah, that is going. Once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your uh, little. Uh, chicken zoo enclosure thing complete. I don't know what to call it. It's not really a chicken coop either. Um, thank you guys for watching this Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, not, day, day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.